Alrighty guys, this is Thunks on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. Just a short little video today guys. I wanted to illustrate the importance of relocating. Yes, I have found that not great players tend to have two modes. One is charge to their death, aka YOLOing. And the other one is sit in one spot and never move. <laughs> Both will not win you that many games. Yeah, sure. I do both of those, and sometimes I win and sometimes I lose with those tactics, but I kind of know when I should and when I shouldn't. But I think a lot of players that aren't very good, and you know, 40 to 44 percent, sometimes will just sit in the bush the entire match. It's like they've forgotten that they even have tracks on their tank. It's okay to move. It really is, even though you're a TD, even though you're a slow TD, you can move. Go figure, right? Anyway, this game will illustrate that. I choose to relocate because, well, if I don't, I'm gonna go to an early grave. And I wanted to actually help my team. I'm not the top scorer, but I do help out. So, and I have a good shot. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good one. Anyway, before we get to it, I would like to ask, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you want to, hit like. If you want to do one more thing, go ahead and comment down below. And let me know what you think of this tank. And of course, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. And with that, let's get to it. Okay. So, mines, a perfect map for a TD. Sit in a bush, snipe. That's your job. I'm not, you know, a JPPZ that could take the hill. I'm in an ISU. Not much armor, great gun. Okay, so that is precisely what I do. And head over here. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. It's not rocket science on this map, really. If you're in an ISU or an SU-101 or SU-152, uh, yeah, these bushes are magical. Okay, I wanted a shot in there. Uh, I couldn't quite get it. That's a shame. Really looking forward to introducing him to my gun. Oh, what do we got over here? So the Tiger II has decided to come around. Okay, got to keep my eyes on both of those guys. Got an SU next to me. Now this Tiger seems to know how to play. Why do I say that? Well, he's not pushing out and giving me an easy shot. If he pushed out a little bit further, he's an easy shot for tank destroyers sitting in this position. But this guy didn't get the memo, so he's gonna, yeah, be punished for that. But I'd love to get rid of the bulldog. Now, our dragon is lighting them up, which is great. And uh, he saved his hit points, that's nice, but I'd love to get rid of this bulldog. Come on, come on. Oh, bummer. That's unfortunate. But now, ooh. Here he comes, and he's looking this way. Oh, can you believe that shot? That was horrible. And I've taken two hits. Oof, that was painful. So that's 600 and so damage I've taken, and that is not good news. So I'm thinking, you know what? They're coming on in. Uh, there's three of them there. I wouldn't be surprised if they just push on him, but we have taken care of two of their tanks, so that is good news. So I'm just going to go over here, and I figure they're going to be coming this way eventually, so if I can just... Stay hidden, and I decide, you know what? I should be fine here. So, they probably think I've run away. I've got a bush between myself and the tiger. He won't be able to see me. Hello. So that one hits, that's nice. And it's six versus four. We're doing very well. The tiger's the big problem. Now watch this shot. He's not lit up. I know he's around there. So I'm just going to aim on in and hope. And <laughs> that was nice. And now it's all over. I mean, five versus two. Yes, the VK is very healthy, but he does have a longish reload. The only question is now how much damage will I end up with? Not much more, I think, because I mess up my shots, but that's my own fault. But we got this in the bag. There's no big deal. So here I go. Yes, four versus one. He'll have to be a great VK player to pull this off. And um, I should have done much better. I should have done, what, I've got 1,800 damage or so. Uh, I think I should have ended up with 2,600, really, because I mess up with two shots here, if you can believe it. My own fault. Um, deciding which way to go, left, right, I'm like, eh, okay, let's just go this way. Will he be looking at me? The answer is, well, kind of, and wow, a ricochet there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm going to get behind him. I can't go this way because uh, there's everything in between me and him. And here's another shot. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh. 
my own fault. But who cares? Well, we already had it pretty much done and dusted, so yeah, nice little victory there. Yeah, 1864, nothing much, but I just wanted to share it with you because I think it illustrates the importance of relocating. So if you're a poor player and you're wondering why am I doing not doing well, if you're sitting in a bush the whole game and not really getting any shots on target, that's your answer. So try moving around, get to a different position, and see what you can do. That's all I got for you. I'll see you next time. Sounds on Blitz.